great moment for Edwin Diaz and his brother Alexis. Alexis on the injured list right now with the Reds off to a good start and they got to exchange the lineup cards tonight. It is stunning to me the difference in body type between the two brothers. You can see their brothers if you look at their faces but if you look at their bodies oh my goodness for the Reds 22 year old Hunter Green and yet another opportunity for Hunter Green to go out there and learn on the fly. That's it hard to the right side a base hit right through the infield. Brandon Nimmo with a two strike single to start the game and the Mets have their first hit of the game. And he pumps that one right past Marte at 97 his first strikeout. Runner goes great jump pitch call a strike throw tails toward first it's there on the tag. Reynolds on the cover and Nimmo caught stealing 2 six. Welcome back behind the plate proper. Door at second, Alonzo at first, and McNeil taps one slowly down to Votto. Votto makes the flip but with the glove and safe, and the bases are loaded. Well, Votto at age 38 doesn't move like he used to, and that ball hung in the air too long, and McNeil got in safely. I actually thought Joey could have grabbed it and dove to the bag himself. Eduardo Escobar, first pitch, lifts it high in the air, shallow outfield. India makes the call and makes the catch. Tywan Walker's been really, really efficient this season. I think he's pitching a contact more and using the four seam split combination, both of those about 30% of the time. 0 oh, 2 pitch. India swings and misses. Strike three. Walker with three pitches records a strikeout against the first batter that he faces. Slider on the outside corner and a dominating first inning for Taiwan Walker as he sets him down one two three on just eight pitches. No score after one. And now it's Dominic Smith. Dom is a little bit in common with Hunter Green a first round pick. Looped. This ball hit off the end of the bat with a little bit of top spin. Jonathan India timed it perfectly and with the reach. Nito pokes one into right field. That's going to be a base hit. Canna pulls in at second as Almora charged it well. And Nito reaching out for that slider has the Mets third hit. Nimmo what a base hit his first time. No score in the second. Two on with one out. And he hits this slider in the air to deep right field. Back goes Almora to the track. Back at the wall. It's out of here. Brandon Nimmo clubs a three run homer and the Mets jump in front three nothing number six for Nimmo and the Mets strike first at Grand American ballpark. Well he got a slider to hit the last time and got a base hit this time he gets a slider and he loses it. Slow runner Mustak is at first a very short lead and Almora chases the slider for strike three third strike out for Walker as he got Almora to fish Here's Nick Senzel and he hits a two hopper to short easy play for Lindor gets the force side retired two strong innings for Taiwan Walker he's got a three nothing lead after two and that's a rip into right field diving catch by Almora Junior on a bullet tailing away from him and he's able to make the diving catch one down. Really nice play by Albert Almora Jr. and it seems like we say that on a nightly basis. And a fastball blew right by McNeil. All three at 96. Three consecutive fastballs. Rolls this one to Votto. A very efficient inning from Green. One pitch out, quick K. And a two pitch tapper to first. One ball, two strikes on Garcia. Ground ball left side into the hole. Lindor has it. He throws to second, and they will not get the base runner Reynolds. Lindor backhanded the ball in the hole. He came up to throw, and he didn't have the grip. He had to double clutch, and he just could not get the ball to second. So one away, and now Drury, who grounded to third base on the first pitch he saw in the first inning. Since this ball high in the air, deep right. Gone. He ties the game. There's a slider. Look at the location of the slider. Brandon Drury is not playing. This man is bringing it every day. A new career high, his 17th home run of the season. Dominic Smith, who is lined to second. Strike three call. Well located fastball up and in. I mentioned not throw, but pitch inside. That's pitching inside. Set to center. Senzel back. On the track makes the catch. Since Nimmo's home run, eight in a row retired by Hunter Green. Stock is single his first time. He's got Almora behind him, then Senzel. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Walker with a breaking ball. Punches out Mustakas. Pitch. 
That's in there. Strike three called. Fastball throws Almora looking for something else. Walker just pumps the fastball right in. Reynolds is a ground ball to short. Easy for Lindor. Scoop and a flip to second to retire Senzel on the force. And the inning is over. So it's just now the third time through for Green. Chopped to third, retreating Drury. Raised backhand, bouncing throw on multiple skips. Votto brings it in. Smart play by Brandon Drury at third base. What you do is you just throw the ball on the ground in front of your first baseman and allow him to make a play. And now Green set down ten in a row as he takes on Francisco Lindor, who's been hit by a pitch and struck out. That's drilled to deep right field. Forget that. Lindor gives the Mets the lead. He cranks one into the seats in right field. Number 13 for Francisco Lindor, and it's 4 to 3 New York. Now, we mentioned earlier Lindor has crushed the ball here at Great American Ballpark, dating back to his days in Cleveland. And that was a no doubter off the bat of Lindor, his 13th home run. McNeil with a single and a strikeout so far in this game. First pitch. McNeil hits it hard, right side, a base hit. Clean line drive single to right for McNeil. And the Mets have their leadoff man on here in the top of the sixth inning. First pitch to Canna. That's lined down the right field line, and Canna has a base hit. That's a fair ball as it hits the chalk. McNeil goes to third. Canna pulls in at second base with an opposite field double. That ball barely stayed fair as it faded toward the line, and Canna's got his sixth double of the year. Dom is 0 for 2 today, a soft line drive and a strikeout. Swing and a high drive, center field, pretty deep. Senzel going back, still going. It's over his head. It one ups the wall in center field as McNeil scores. Canna rounds third. He comes home standing up. Dominic Smith delivers a two run double over the head of the center fielder, Senzel. And the Mets get a couple of insurance runs here in the sixth inning. It's Francisco Lindor leads off in the seventh. Three on the right side against Lindor. And Francisco takes one the other way toward the left field line. That's down for a base hit. So Lindor has his second hit of the day. He's aboard for the third time. And the Mets have nine hits on the night. So two out. Lindor still at second. And here's Escobar. He's got 0 for 3 today. Escobar lines base hit left center field. That will score a run. Lindor trots to the plate. Escobar digs for second. The throw into second base is in time. No, he's safe. Somehow he avoided the tag. It's an RBI double for Escobar. And the Mets have a 7-3 lead. Eduardo Escobar did some kind of dance at second base to avoid being tagged by Jonathan India. So one pitch, one out for Drew Smith. And here's Nick Senzel, who had a base hit his last time up. Ross Detweiler's up in the Reds pen. Nick Senzel whacks the first pitch deep right. Leap at the wall. Senzel has enjoyed his best two week run, arguably as a red. The last step, the power, his second home run of the year. Yeah, everybody's waiting for this to come around for Senzel. He has certainly swung the bat well recently. Right hander Dowry Moretta comes in to, pay, to pitch the top of the ninth for Cincinnati. And that's drilled down the left field line by Alonzo, and that'll put a hole in the wall. And he pulls into second base with a well struck double 116 miles an hour off the bat and all he had to do was hit a little higher and he would have had a home run Sounded like a firecracker on the 4th of July. Well hit to left fan back makes the catch on the run. Great read and reaction by Tommy Fay. As we go to the bottom of the ninth, Seth Lugo in for the save opportunity. And Schrock gets a curveball down to Alonzo. He makes the diving stop. Lugo covers, and the ball game is over. Lugo gets the save for Taiwan Walker. Brandon Nemo with a three run homer. Lindor with the go ahead shot. And the Mets take the opening game of their series in Cincinnati.